Hey boys and girls, hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome back to another lesson. We are almost done with the Ten Commandments. We are on commandment number eight. All right, so before I tell you guys what that commandment is, before we jump into the super cool, awesome story I'm about to tell you guys, we have seven commandments that you guys have learned. I hope you remember them. So pop quiz, commandment number one. Put God first, right? Number two, worship God only. Number three, let me hear you say it. Yeah, don't misuse God's name, right? Number four, rest on the Sabbath, on the Sabbath day, right? Number five, obey your parents. Good, good, good. Number six, yeah, don't murder anyone. Don't hurt anyone. Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands, feet, and arms inside the vehicle for your safety. Number seven. You guys learned about this one last week. Do you remember it? Yeah, keep your wedding promises. All right. So number eight, the eighth commandment today, do not steal. Don't take anything that doesn't belong to you. That is called stealing. That is against one of God's Ten Commandments. And God does not like it when we take things that do not belong to us. So I'm going to tell you guys a super short story, one of, uh, one of my favorite stories in the Bible. You guys know the first half of the story, um, so I'm going to tell you guys the second half. But let me tell you the first half just so you know what's going on. The Israelites have finally made it to the Promised Land. Joshua is in charge now because Moses had passed away. So Joshua is leading the people, and the first place that they come to on the way to the Promised Land is the walled city of Jericho. Yes, this is the same city of Jericho with the big walls, and after the Israelites walked around it, remember after seven days, they yelled really loud, blew the trumpets, made a whole lot of noise, and the walls came tumbling down, right? So before the Israelites, you know, ran into the city, you know, to, to check out what happened and, you know, to plunder all the treasure. Joshua tells them really quick, guys, don't take anything. All the treasure, all the gold, all the money, the silver, bronze, everything in that city, do not take it because it's going to God. It belongs to God. All right. Do not touch it. Do not take it or else something bad is going to happen to us. And we do not want that to happen. But there was a man and his name was Achan. All right. And this man named Achan, he ended up doing something very bad. You guys want to guess what it was? Yeah, he stole something. Yeah, he stole some of the treasure. Now, we're going to pause there for a second. I'm going to tell you guys that I'm going to talk about the treasure, what he stole, why it was so bad. But let me tell you. The other part of that story, you know, just to bring it all together. The Israelites, they left the city of Jericho, which is now in ruins where the walls fell, right? And now they're venturing forward into the promised land. They come across another city called Ai. Now, it's a much smaller city than Jericho, less soldiers, less people. And Joshua and the Israelites believe that they can take this city no problem. As a matter of fact, Joshua only sends out about two to 3,000 soldiers to fight this city. This should have been the easiest battle the Israelites would have fought. They could have done it with their eyes closed, no problems, piece of cake. But they lost. They lost so bad, Joshua was freaking out. He ran to God and it was like, God, what happened? Why did we lose? We should have won. And God tells Joshua, it was because someone did not obey my commandment. Someone took something, someone stole something that belonged to me, and I am not happy about that. So Joshua called all of the Israelites to line up. And Joshua and his men went to every person and asked them, did you take anything? No. Did you take anything? No. Did you take anything? No. Did you steal anything? No. They came to Achan. All right. This was the guy who stole some treasure. Joshua went up to him and said, hey, Achan, um, you know, I just want to ask you, did you take anything? 
And Aiken said, yes. Aiken stole some of the treasure that was supposed to go to God. And let me tell you what he took. All right. Okay, here we go. Achan replied, It is true. I have sinned against the Lord. This is what I did. When I saw the beautiful, the beautiful robe from Babylonia, 200 shekels of silver, <laughs> and all this gold, I mean, he had the whole treasure chest with him. He saw all of these things and decided to take it for himself. And he hid it in his tent. So he had all this stuff. He had, you know, the beautiful, shiny, awesome robe. He had all this money. He had more gold. It's pretty cool, right? He stole stuff from God, and God was not happy with it, which was why the Israelites lost their next fight. You see, boys and girls, God doesn't like it when we take things that belong to other people. It's not right to steal, okay? How would you feel if someone took your favorite toy or took your phone? or you know your iPad or your video game. Right? If someone took my stuff, I would be very sad. I would be upset because that stuff belongs to me. I worked hard to get them and then someone stole it, right? So kids, don't steal anything because it is not fair to other people. It is not nice and God is not happy when you take what does not belong to you, all right? So that's the story, boys and girls. Remember, don't steal. That is commandment number eight. Next week is commandment nine. And then the following week, we will be done. Commandment number 10. Guys, we are so close to finishing this. You guys have learned so much. Yes. And also, just to remind you guys, um, uh, Pastor Larry made the announcement. Miss Liz sent out the email to your parents about the virtual V. BS. Yes, we are still having it. It's going to be amazing. It'll be a three-day event in August, first week of August. Uh, please check um, the Lighting Life uh, Christian Fellowship Children's Ministry Facebook page uh, for more details. Um, also, check your emails because Miss Liz has sent it out. It may be in your spam folder. Um, also, you know, you can reach out to me, Miss Sarah, any of the other Sunday school teachers for more information. Uh, we cannot wait, um, you know, to see you there. It's going to be amazing. I'm doing games and you know, it's going to be fun. So I'll see you guys at VBS. I'll see you guys next week for commandment number nine. I'm going to go take a nap in this tent because it's nap time and I'll see you guys later. Peace.